hello and now let's have a look to what we can do with the, the raster uh, reclassed one or the original one have you seen before I have reclassed the land cover and the digital elevation model so you see that you have two raster here it is with values remember that uh, the raster must have a numeric value uh, so let's say each pixel will have a number uh, linked to him to it so say what we can we can operate uh, uh, um, between uh, two or more raster uh, let's say we can have some uh, risks uh, related to slope and land cover or let's say humidity and soil type uh, or even more temperature and any other raster we have we can overlap uh, one with two more uh, raster having a result how we can do always here toolbox we click on cal Calculator. Here it is, Rust calculator, and here you see we can uh, type uh, whatever we want. So, like uh, length over class and DM class, uh, we can insert some coefficient to give uh, more weight to one or to the other. Remember only that uh, here, when you double click, uh, you see here there is the old layer you have loaded in the table of contents. If you double click on this. Uh, Let's remove band 1 before launching the operation. So now we have them or class and just all we have seen uh, as we have seen before we can define we have defined the output region of the raster then we can execute the tool and the result is here. You see in this way we have a result a new layer with the same extensions in my case of the input layers but considering all the two or more input layers so then as we seen before we can color this raster according to different classes or we can even reuse this output to produce more raster through calculation so remember that this is a very important tool because usually raster is mainly used to match more information uh, consider then we will speak about this elevation model so we can integrate slope elevation exposition and also length cover temperature uh, precipitation so see we can interact overlapping two or more layers then there is another important tool that we can use with the raster that is here to say that we have the urban and we have maybe the digital elevation model so then now we want to to see which is the elevation of uh, this uh, city because maybe we don't have uh, the result or even let's say we can see which is the belonging Korean uh, class for each point of interest in the city in the aisle and you see this is we can use for more and more application basically it uh, uh, derive the value of uh, the corresponding value of the uh, raster where the point is located and always there is here you see this always in raster and then we can use the uh, dedicated tool so since we have to sample the raster layer the common will be sample sample raster layer so we see here I have to choose the raster from where the value will be derived in my case I can take for example the digital division model here I will uh, define the point layer that will be have the, uh, the numeric value added to the table and then this is the result as you can see that in this case I have the sample raster layer without interpolation it means that you see that in the table I have the exact uh, value of uh, the pixel where the point is located I can choose uh, also the interpolation you see that here we have uh, I will show you again when sample layer I have this tool use interpolation in this case if I use interpolation the system try to interpolate uh, the values of each single pixel so you see that here the table we have also 
dash one value. So he has tried to make as more precise as possible, um, say, making an interpolation between uh, contiguous raster. But as I told you before, that I can do for much more uh, raster, let's say, in this case, I've used the same for length cover. So you see here in this case, what I've seen that there are some values that are minus 99,999, it means no values. Why? Because I've seen that uh, all these yellow points are just in the border of the sea. So maybe due to a problem of uh, reprojection, they fold into the sea, this is the location of the position of the point, and so it assumes that there is no land cover because maybe it's in the sea. So you see in this case, uh, in this case, remember that it's quite useless to use interpolation because you're not dealing with continuous value like a climatic condition, but with land cover. So there is not something in between agriculture and maybe natural forest. So this is all for this video. Thank you so much.